Alright guys, now that we know how to change background color, let's spice things up even more. Let's learn how to add images as the background. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we have our body tags in here because that's what we're going to be editing, that background of the body. So go ahead and as your element, go ahead and type body and give you some space to work with. And the first thing I want to teach you guys is how to add an image is the background. So again, make sure that whatever directory you're working in, let me uh, minimize this a little bit, make sure whatever directory you're working in, that you have, see I'm working at this file right here, the index. Make sure you have an image file, either a GIF or a JPEG or a ping, in the same folder as the file you're working on. And I have a little you can see my face right here, a little picture file called myface.ping. So remember that because that's going to come in uh, handy in about five seconds. So in order to add an image for our background, you need the property background minus image. And for the value, you need to set it to this, URL, and then go ahead and put parentheses. Now inside the parentheses, go ahead and type the name of the file, myface.ping. Now go ahead and add your semicolon, and this is how you change the background image. So a lot of you guys might think that um, just put background image and then the file name. No, that's not it. Make sure you have that URL or it's just not going to work. So let's go ahead and save this and see what we get pretty sweet looking website. This is actually one of the prettiest websites I think I've ever created in my life. Pretty sweet. Just a bunch of buckies. It kind of looks like a, kind of reminds me of that Brady Bunch intro where there's like nine people. There's a story of some dudes named Bucky. You know. Okay. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I better stop singing. So anyways, you're saying, alright, Bucky, your face is beautiful, but we don't need 80 of them right there. Well, if you just have an image and you just want one image and you don't want it to repeat, then you can change that as well. I mean, by default, as you saw, the image is just going to repeat both left and right and up and down. It's going to tile itself. So you don't always want this effect. So in order to make it not repeat, go ahead and type background minus repeats. And as the property, you can either have it, I think it's like repeat on by default or something. Anyways, default is what you saw. If you don't want it to repeat, then type no repeat and check it out. If we save this and refresh, we see we only have one image that doesn't repeat. So if you, you know, you made this big cool background that, you know, some images are made for repeating, some aren't. So anyways, you know, no need to explain. So that is how you get an image not to repeat. And I just shook that, and since I have Windows 7, it closed everything. So let me open everything back up, and yeah, make sure we got that. So anyways, that is how you make it not repeat. But if you're saying, all right, but what if a special case scenario comes along that I only want to repeat it left and right, or, dang it, now my Camtasia shut, there we go. My screen recorder shut down, I didn't know how long I had on my video, but gotta remember not to shake any windows again I guess but anyways sometimes you're gonna come across a situation where you have this image but you only want to tile either left or right or up and down so you can do that using the same background repeat property but instead of no repeat go ahead and change to repeat minus X and this is gonna tile it let me show you left and right in the X axis the X axis is left and right Y is up and down and Z is forward and backward, but um, since we're working with a computer screen, we don't have Z, so, you know, just a little tidbit of information. So that tiles it left and right. Y, if you repeat it, tiles up and down. This kind of reminds me of, you know, when you go to the mall and you put like a dollar in those photo booths. You know, that's what it reminds me of. Kind of freaky seeing me staring at myself, but anyways, that is how you tile it up and down. And the last thing I want to mention is um let's go ahead and put no repeat so I can demonstrate the last point I have whenever you have a background image I mean you might be saying this alright I want one image I don't want it to repeat 
but the only thing is I don't want it stuck in the top left corner I want it either you know maybe centered on your website or maybe you want it 10 pixels over and 50 pixels down or you want it in a specific location you don't always want it jammed up in the top left so in order to do that you need a property called background minus position and this lets you alter the position of your background image now this takes two parameters the first parameter or the first piece of information it needs is how far from the left hand side do you want to move it so go ahead and put 10 pixels now your image is going to be shifted 10 pixels to the right and the next piece of information you need to give is how far from the top do you want to move it so let's say you want to move it 60 pixels down so go ahead and write 60 pixels and that's it just save it and see what we got so now that we change that background position 10 pixels 50 pixels it took this image which was jammed up in the top left moved it 10 pixels to the right and 60 pixels down or 50 I forgot what I put 60 there we go but we're saying alright that's pretty cool Bucky but I don't let's say I want something like I want this picture centered on my web page but I don't know how big their browser window is going to be so how am I supposed to guess how many pixels well lucky for you not only can you do this with pixels but you can also do it as percentages so if you want 60 pixels down but you want it centered then just go ahead and say alright move it 50 percent from the left and this is going to center it left and right or horizontal you know whatever so let's go ahead and save this and see what we got since it's 50 percent to the left that means there's 50 percent to the right that means your background image is perfectly centered in the middle of your website so this is perfectly centered left and right and it's also down 60 pixels so that is pretty much all you need to know with working with background images um Again, there's probably some more, but this is pretty much the core foundation of working with background images. So if you understand this, then you should be good to go from now on. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. I know I threw a lot at you, but uh, you can always watch it again if you didn't catch anything. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to check out my website.